for those with a fighting spirit. Cejudo, 32. The Brazilian Marlon Moraes is 31. Moraes, two inches taller. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get to the introductions for our main event. Here is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Presented by Modelo. Sanctioned by the Illinois State Athletic Commission. Our three judges scoring this contest at Oxygen tonight are Sally Amato, Brian Pacheco, and Chris Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mark Goddard. This championship bout is sponsored by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. And catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile. Get knockout coverage on a network that rivals the big guys for way less. For those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A big buckle artist holding a professional record. 22 wins, five losses, one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the number one ranked bantamweight contender in the world, Magic Marlin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record, 14 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, presenting the 2008 Olympic gold medalist in freestyle wrestling and the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Henry the Messenger Zahuda! Marlon Henry, you know exactly what I expect. I want you to fight hard, please fight clean. If I tell you to stop, you stop. If you want to touch gloves, now's the time. God bless. It all comes down to this. The UFC's Bantamweight belt is vacant. It will not be. In less than a half hour, Ariane Celeste getting us started for round one of a possible five to determine the best 135 pound mixed martial artist in the world. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Magic Marlon Marais is in yellow, Henry Cejudo in the black and gold. Marais has huge legs. Look at the size. He's big, size man. On that too. He is easily 155 big. pounds yep. right now. He's a big, strong guy. And the power he has is substantial. His last three fights have lasted a combined 457. All of them finishes, all against elite competition. And the thing is, he's so good on the ground, he can kick with no worries. If you take him down, I mean, he is a submission killer. Oh, man. Step in left hook. Henry's gonna have to throw something if he wants to. He's gonna have to earn the respect of Marais. Marais is just going at him right now. Henry hasn't thrown anything back at him yet. He's gonna have to go. Here's a nice leg kick. Wow, what a combination by Marais. Nice counter from Cejudo. Oh man, beautiful catch and return. Marlon has done that twice, where he's tried to look low and kick high. The speed with which he throws those legs is incredible. 
And he's just open enough with letting you know any one of these can separate you from your consciousness. Right. And he seems very calm and relaxed in there. And confident, right? He seems yes. very confident in, in front of this fight, in front of the, his opponent, you know, in front of Cejudo. Yeah, he's and very Henry's confident. Henry's in trouble. He's in trouble with that leg already. And the, the difference is that Henry doesn't have the kind of power with his kicks that Marlon does. Henry can hurt you with his hands, but he's got to get close enough. And on the outside, Marlon is chewing him up. Well, think about it already, right? He's landed low kick down at the calf, one at the thigh. He's throwing one high. He's giving him, he's hitting every target. Every target that's out there, Marlon's trying to attack him. And he seems so settled. There it is again, hard one. Henry got a hold of the leg, and he gets it out easy. Marais does not have an Olympic gold medal in freestyle wrestling, but has been training with elite wrestlers. Frankie Edgar among them for years and years was not too worried about getting taken down and kept there tonight. That camp that he trains out of has some real killers. It's a beat. And already Henry switched the stances. Yep. And the one thing that Henry Cejudo has really done since he went on this run is he fought in that karate type, type of stance. He can't really do that with Marais because Marais is blasting him with leg kicks. So now he's more in a traditional boxer type of fight stance, you know, boxer wrestler. And what's gotten him success has been his ability to be different. He's also switching stances now, which opens him up for that big power kick. Marais did have some issues with the South. John Dodson, perhaps that's the way to go for Cejudo tonight. Henry doesn't have an answer right now, and he's got to come up with one. And he's got to do something that changes the course of what's happening right now. Because right now he's getting picked apart. He hasn't many throw. He hasn't thrown many strikes to start this round. To start this fight, sorry. And again, that inside leg kick. And again. Look at his left his left leg already on the outside. The inside of the right leg's gonna start looking at like that too very soon. He takes any more of those inside kicks. Not only did Marais win a major title outside the UFC, defended it five times, about as long on championship experience as anyone to ever cross into the UFC. Nice body oh, to the body. And as I was saying, we were leading up to this fight. When we would see him win so spectacularly, you wondered how he would look against world-class fighters. And the answer is better. Yep. I mean, he's grown since he's gotten in the UFC. He's better than he was before. Good defense there. Catches the punch. Oh, again. So fast. And Cejudo's trying to really just now engage him a little bit, really bite down on the mouthpiece and try to earn Marlon's respect. He's gonna have to do that at some point. And even when Marais dropped his UFC debut to Rafael Santos, it didn't change anything. Chalked it up to a bad night, and it has been all systems go ever since. Ten seconds now to go in round one. Ah! We will follow Henry Cejudo into the red corner. Hey, Henry. In round number one, you see Henry throw his kick. Marais. Counters with punches, Cejudo counters with punches, behind it, and then again, big step into the leg kick. Cejudo's asking his corner already to get the ice on the left leg. You know, so he's already starting to feel the damage of the Marais kicks. Very, very 25 minute fight. Santino DeFranco's really been a calming influence in that Henry Cejudo corner. Gives him a lot of confidence on fight night. We'll see if Cejudo can do what his coach has asked here early round two. He's asking him to move into punching range, but the problem that I see is I don't think he has an advantage there either. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. Again, you got to be very careful. We just saw this in the last fight. You know, he's done so much damage to the legs. When he's looking down, if Henry's not careful, the high kick will land. Now Henry's trying to put that pressure on him. But the question is, are his legs compromised? Can, can he move 
correctly now. Well, I think Saludo understands now that he cannot oh, he range. Henry Clifton. And Marlon's smiling, which tells you that he felt it. Yeah, he's moving his mouth around. Might have got clipped on the jaw. But Ice continues to attack that lower half. So Hudo's done a pretty good job raising the guard up top, but, but Ice does not discriminate. The way he's eating those low kicks, you can only take so many of them. Oh, took that one to the head. So Hudo loaded up on that right hand, but Ice able to avoid it. Henry, though, fighting much more relaxed than during the early portions of his UFC career. Lansing spinning attack. Well, he's having more success now. Yes, he is. putting pressure on him, and he has hit him with some good punches. I think he got his respect with that left hook. Just one takedown attempt for Cejudo through seven minutes. Rice is controlling this fight with just kicks. I mean, nobody's really landing great shots with the hands. But the kicks of Marlon is really dictating the fight. Henry is not pressure him, though, which is good as the smaller man. Pressure is key. Faints. Man, another one. And he's, he's choosing to fight primarily southpaw because of the damage to the left leg. And meanwhile, he's getting chewed up on the right leg as well. And they don't have to start switching more. Just more and more switches, right? but he's in danger. Tide's starting to turn a little bit here. So who right right hand by, oh, good uppercut. Oh, oh. Head kick. So who all bloodied on that right side. So who knows having way more success this round though. Yeah, he's by putting just that pressure on. Yep. This is good for Henry. Henry's saying, forget this technical fight, we're just gonna fight. And now he's having success. He caught him in an uppercut. Yep. Well, ice has slowed down a little bit here. Henry Cejudo has decided. Oh! oh. Big knees from oh. Cejudo! But ice Big retreats from Cejudo! Marlon's in trouble! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. Marlon's letting him tie up like that! He is not defending the tie clinch very well. Look Shots at this. from Marais. Easily stuffed by Cejudo, who goes to the body with the knee. Marlon might be stunned. Those are big knees by Henry. This is a total different round. This oh, my is, goodness. This is how you answer if you're Henry Cejudo. Just make it a fight. Oh, oh. Henry's a little hurt. Cejudo got hurt with that big yes. right hand. Here's a big leg kick from Marais. Here's a right hand from Cejudo. That one landed. Look at this knee. Boom, on the chin. Knee to the body. Another one. Here's the end of the round. Hold on, hold on. 
That right there might have hurt Henry. It looked like he buckled. But I'll tell you what, Henry Cejudo has a hell of a chance. And he's, yeah, he's so tough, man. He knows how to win. He's a winner. And he made big adjustments in that second round. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. These Arizona boys oh, are tough. Oh. Nice loads up, unable to land. Mark Henry, Henry was telling Marlon, stop countering wide. Counter straight. He's loading up, so Henry's just walking him down. Here's another thought. Marlon Moraes cuts a lot of weight. Yep. How much is that going to affect his cardio, and is he slowing down right now? Because it appears he is. Oh, Cejudo's putting a crazy pace on him, too. Yeah. Well, a lot of people felt like Cejudo, once he moved up to 135 pounds, would do his best work. Did make his UFC debut as a bantamweight, but... This is our first sight of Cejudo against a truly elite Bantamweight. Yeah, he had some problems cutting weight earlier in his Bantamweight career, but then got it dialed in. Marlon is in front of him now. This is hold signaling time, an eye poke. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Henry, let's go, but I saw it on the exchange. Yes, I know, I know, relax. Look it's at me, right. Marlon, look at me. Can you see me? <laughs> Oh, look at me, Marlon. You good? All right, good luck. Henry. Marlon is busted up. I know. It's like just, on the, just on the push away, that's all. No, no, no. Yeah. Let's take Maybe a look at it, see if we can find it. Yep. No, that's a punch. Clean punch. It was a punch he, to the eye that did that. Well, I think we missed the, uh, it was on the break. After they were starting to separate, he's saying that he got him when they were separate. Cejudo unable to get Marais down. Marais greets him with a body shot. Oh, nice combination. He's got to get out of that clinch. He can't let Henry clinch him like that, but for Henry, that is spectacular. He gets that tie clinch and he has Marlon wrapped up and Marlon seems paralyzed. He doesn't know what to do. He's just blocking, right? He's just blocking. It's he's not enough. Not, yeah, he's just blocking with his arms. Oh, no. Wow. He needs to be trying to clear that dig underhooks to change the position. This is going to be a... a this one's going to be a war of attrition when it comes down to the end, however long this goes. It's going to be who can keep the pace, who can work the hardest over the course of this last 12 and a half minutes. Right. The thing is, how much has Marlon slowed down? And what is he feeling right now? Because this, this is a very different Marlon Marais in that first round. And he's eating some big knees to the body, which is going to accelerate that. He already looked at the clock. He's looking at the clock already, John. Uh, Joe, what's up? Oh, oh, he gets the middle. He got him. He's not even fighting the hands, though, Joe. Marlon is in big trouble. He's not even fighting the hands. He's trying to get out of this. He's exhausted. He really Marlon is. Marlon Rice is exhausted. Henry Cejudo. Oh, Henry here. with a big knee to the body. Perfectly legal. Under two minutes to go, round three. And that comes from... That high level wrestling, that comes from beating Demetrius Johnson over 25 minutes. It's just an ability to relax in the face of severe adversity that's carrying him to Hudo right now. What an adjustment he made between Amazing. one and two. Great point. I mean, it, it looked like he was right getting, getting worked. Yep. And now it looks like he's winning. Oh, he's winning. He won round two, and now he's beating Marlon Marais in round three. Oh, Marlon took an armbar. No, he doesn't have the strength for it. Marlon is exhausted. He's getting beat up. Big hammer fist from Cejudo. Marlon's trying to take a break here. Just trying to rest. You see the numbers. So oh, big, big shots from Henry. Nice 
elbow by Cejudo. And I mean, you try to take breaks, but there are better places to rest than on the bottom, getting squeezed. Yes. Under 30 seconds, round three. Marlon Marais is right in front of Mark Henry, his coach, and he really can't do anything. He's exhausted. He can't even defend himself. Big elbows from Cejudo. Oh, man, I thought the referee was going to stop it. Oh, yes. that's it. Get him a second back. Henry Cejudo is the UFC Bantamweight champion. Henry Cejudo did it. What a comeback. I mean, what a comeback. From that first round, wow. it looked like the loss was inevitable. Henry turns it around completely in the second round and then stops Marais. In round one, he was getting outclassed by Marlon Marais. Completely changed it and finished it in the third round. Just stunning. I mean, what a performance by Henry Cejudo. When was the last time you ever saw someone getting that worked in the first round of a championship fight and then completely turn it around the second and third? You saw the mindset change, though. You saw, okay, this is not going to work me standing out here. I'm just going to go get this dude. I'm just gonna go fight him. And look at him, That's man. What he, he, can, did. he can barely walk. But you, you saw him get up. He's stumbling. His legs are clearly compromised. Unbelievable. And that very well might be the greatest combat sports athlete resume wise of all time. This fight replay is brought to you by Nemiroff Bold Character since 1872. How do you argue against it? I, at this point, I mean, Olympic gold medalist, two division world champion gets worked in the first round, comes back to stop the guy in the third. I mean, just sensational turnaround by Henry Cejudo. Unreal mental toughness and the ability to make an adjustment that really defines a true champion. I mean, just said, it's not working. I'ma just go get it. I'ma just make him fight me and I'ma make him work so hard that he's gonna melt in front of me. And that's exactly what Henry Cejudo did. What a fantastic performance. This young man has had so many great moments, and I'm not sure any of them All day, will match baby. And he was to make his UFC debut at UFC 177, August of 2014, was forced to withdraw on weigh-in day, told Sean Shelby he was going to retire. You fast forward five years, not only has he stayed in the game, he is at, at the top of the game. Henry Cejudo, your simultaneous flyweight and bantamweight champion. The official decision is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile. Get knockout coverage on a network that rivals the big guys for way less. One final time tonight, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed ah! UFC. Champion.